Hi guys, I'm Kevin Kwan from TasteAsianFood.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the traditional Cantonese style herbal soup with chicken. This is the family recipe that we have used it for decades. And I understand that there are varieties of ways to make the Chinese herbal soup with chicken. You may use other combination of herbs to make the soup, but the principle is the same. Therefore, I wish this video will be equally useful to you if you are using other herbs. So let's get into the recipe right now. This recipe needs several Chinese herbs which is used to improve general health. I will leave the health aspect to the Chinese herbs practitioner. In this video, I will focus on the taste, the flavor, and the appearance. The first item is dry red dates. It is called Hong Zhao in Mandarin. It has a slightly sweet taste. Next, Angelica sinensis. In Mandarin, we call it Tang Gui. It has a slightly sweet bitter flavor and is slightly pungent. It has a distinct flavor and aroma when you use it to boil soup. Next on the list, Astragalus root. In Mandarin, it is called Huang Qi. It has its own herbal flavor and I would say it is slightly sweet. The next one is Tangshen and I don't really know there is an English name so I'll just call it Tangshen. And it has a slightly sweet taste. And this is Solomon seal root. In Mandarin we call it Yu Zhu. It has a sweet taste and it is usually cut into thin slices and the texture is slightly crunchy and snappy. This is called Huai Shan or Shan Yao. It is a kind of dry Chinese yam. The taste is quite neutral and is slightly starchy. Lastly, goji berries. It is slightly sweet and is usually used together with dry dates. I found a website which has loads of information about these Chinese herbs in English. Check it out if you want to know more about Chinese herbs. I've left the link in the description below the video. There are also some Chinese herbal soup package available. It contains the selected herbs in small quantity to make soup. I'm not sure whether you can get it at where you live, but I found a website that you can order online. I will leave the link in the description below the video for you. A good Chinese herbal soup should not be murky, cloudy. It should be clear and clean, and for sure it shouldn't be milky. To achieve the level of clarity, it is important to clean the chicken thoroughly, especially pay attention to the cavity. Your chicken vendor might have done a good job, but pay attention especially to check if there is still any hearts or liver or any other giblet still remain in the cavity. You have to remove all this so that you can get a clear and clean soup. Change the water a few times until the water runs clear and if you are satisfied with it, remove the chicken and put it onto a colander to drain. Separate the feet from the chicken and cut off the nails. Bring a pot of water to a boil and submerge the chicken into the water. Give it a few stirs and you start to see the impurities, the, the blood and start to float onto the top. You can use a fine sieve to remove the scum. But I want to go one step further. I want to make sure that the soup is really clean and clear. So I remove the chicken and clean it once more under running water. The Chinese herbs that you can get it from the medical shops are usually quite clean. However, if you are concerned about the cleanliness, what you can do is you can put them in a large bowl, fill it with some water and give it a few stirs. Pick up the herbs to remove the dirt and sand. Soak the goji berry separately from other herbs. That's because we want to boil the soup for a long time and we'll only add the goji berries when the soup is about to ready. The recipe is incredibly simple. It requires only the chicken and the herbs. 
place the chicken into the pot. I'm using a slow cooker. You can also do it with a pot on the stove top. Add the herbs except the goji berries. Then add boiling water into the pot enough to cover all the ingredients. It is best to use ceramic or clay pot to make Chinese soup. You can also use glass or stainless steel pot, but try to avoid using aluminum, cast iron or copper pots. Because the herbs may have some chemical reaction with these metals and it may change the medicinal properties of the herbs. Simmer for 2 hours or more to extract the flavor of the herbs. 2 hours later, let's take a look. The longer you simmer the soup, the color will be darker and the flavor will be more intense. Add the goji berries 20 minutes before you finish making the soup. And add some salt, about half to one teaspoon to your taste. There's no need to add any soy sauce or ground pepper or any other seasoning you use in Chinese cooking. Just salt and appreciate the flavor and aroma from the chicken and herbs. Simmer for another 20 minutes and the Chinese herbal soup is ready. That's all for today's videos, how to make a basic Chinese chicken herbal soup. If you like this recipe, hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell and give me a like. I've also included the recipe in the description below the video. I'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching.